Okay, so I'm Miss Bramble, and this is the chemistry of... Soda Lime Glass. Alright, so right now you're probably wondering what exactly that is. So I'm going to tell you, Soda Lime Glass is the result of silica, which is sand, soda, and lime mixed together. Pretty amazing stuff, right? Alright, so, uh... Probably, uh, you're probably wondering what what soda lime glass does, or what, what why is it, why it why it is important. So I'll tell you. Soda lime glass is the most common type of glass, representing 80% of all commercial glass. Um, it, it, soda lime glass is extremely important in our day today lives because it is used for windows, jars, jugs, and everyday drinking glasses. So you can imagine that it's pretty important. So. Um, some nice little effects right there, but uh, so the chemistry part of this, like how it's formed, we're gonna start with like the, how the individual materials that, like uh, in it are formed. So we'll start with silicon dioxide or silica. So silica is formed when silicone, which will be this nice little purple color, reacts with oxygen, and that creates. Silica, which is uh, one of the major components in soda lime glass. So that's all it's one. So now for soda, which is NaCO3. Alright, so this is pretty complicated, so I'm just gonna like guide you through this. Alright, so MO, which represent, uh, represents microorganisms, we do sulfate, which is this red substance right here, the sulfide, which is this peachish color over here. Now, um, now, this in turn release uh, the sulfides hydrolyzed to produce free OH, which is this nice blue color right here, which then combines with CO2 uh, and then in turn produces HCO3, which is this purple. Now, when, F, when uh, reduced uh, iron or Fe in the system uh, inactivates the sulfides and allows the accumulation of NaHCO2, which is this gray thing right here, so it's just dabbing up in here. And then next from this, I didn't really have room to put the rest of this, the loss of CO2 from NaHCO2 during dry periods of the year, so during the summer or droughts or something something of the sort, results in the formation of Na2CO3, which is soda. Alright, so you're probably wondering how this all comes together to make soda lime glass, so I'll explain. But for this, I'm going to need my gas mask because it's some dangerous stuff right here. Alright, so, uh... What happens is they take this material, so this will be the lime, soda, and silica, and they throw it all together in essentially a melting pot, which will be this right here. Let's add some fire to that, some heat. And that in turn produces, you get this nice fine glass at the end, so you get this little wine glass. It's pretty simple, but it's really important in our day to day life, and I think you should all know about that. And as I said before, I'm really scrambled. And that was my chemistry of soda wine glass. The end.